Happy Monday, everyone. <laughs> and my mother was starting like a week like that with her knife. So wait a second, Ma. Let me tell you the story of to, to these people here first. So what we're doing today, we've been eating so much fattening, heavy food. So what we're doing today is we're having escarole with beans for dinner tonight. So what this vegetable that you see here, for those of you who don't know escarole, this is an escarole lettuce that my cousin very graciously ordered for me so that I would have today fresh. I tried all weekend to find it. And at one of the local grocery stores, the produce person told me that green lettuce was the same. Wanted to sell, yes, wanted to sell me that. I left, I went to Sprouts and what I saw there was maybe this big, right? It was, it was tiny, it wasn't even the inside here. So not that many people bought the escarole, so I guess the produce people kept pulling off the leaves like my mother is doing, throwing it away and then leaving what's left in the middle, but tried to sell me these wilted little insides. So I left, I went to Ralph's and they don't even carry it. So, um, so Albert ordered me some of this, which we're going to cook today. So what my mom's doing is she's cleaning the escarole. So she's cutting the bottom stem off. She's pulling it apart and is giving it a bath in the sink and cutting it in pieces. We're then going to come back when she, what do you, what'd you call it, Ma? Sautés it in the pan? What? Steam it. She's going to steam it down and then we're going to add to it cannellini beans, which my mother asked me why I'm not getting fresh beans because I'm lazy. So I'm going to open up two cans of cannellini beans and we're going to cook it with olive oil, spicy hot pepper, and then of course the salt, pepper, and garlic. And you can eat it plain as escarole with beans or put it with crusty bread. Um, and in the Italian dialect, this is called scarol as opposed to escarole. Are you going to say something, Mom? You were looking at me. Yeah. No, say it. No, no. Say it. No, no. What are you going to say? No, you're going to correct me. No. Okay. So... My mother's gonna clean this. We'll be back in a little bit once we have it in the pot to steam. So the escarole has been cut. My mother cut it up off the head and put it in for its bath. So it got washed twice to remove any sand, dirt, etc. So now mom, what's the next step? I put it in the pot and steam it. Should I drain it in the... No, just put it in the pot and I took out the colander to drain it. You need that later. Just put this in here now. Okay, so put this in there. Right. Okay, so put this in there. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can do it. Me? Please participate. Oh, God. No, not participate. Work, you mean. Okay. It's not that hard. <laughs> I gave it the bath. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So my mother's re-wincing it because she doesn't trust me. I wouldn't trust me either. I'm trying to think, years ago we made something that I left sand in and somebody almost broke their teeth or something. So I wouldn't trust me. Okay, sometimes, depending upon how many heads of escarole you use and if they're nice quality, so these are big, nice and fluffy. Like I said, the ones that Sprouts had were tiny and wilted. I mean, I, I never seen anything so sad like that. Um, but these are nice, fresh, and big and fluffy. So we have three heads. So my mother's gonna cook it in a pot. Where'd you get this? Head? The pot? In the container. I mean, in the, in the shelf. No. The escrow. Where'd you get it? Nice oh. one. Your nephew got it. Because I told him yesterday I was on a Where's hunt. Where's my nephew? He made it? Oh, what did he do? <laughs> he picked it. What do you think he did? Maybe he, he made it. You don't bake this. You grow this. Do you know what? Do you grow? Did you ever or dad ever grow escarole? Well, in Italy, yeah, we have here. No, but not here. Did you ever grow it here? Know. I don't think so. Um. So, anyways, she's saving every little piece of lettuce and putting it in in this pot, 
If you make a small batch, you could uh, saute or steam it in a small, like a Le Creuset type of pan, and then you can continue to cook it. But because we have so much, we need to put it in this big pot. Um, it all depends what you make. If you, if you eat it by itself, you could just saute it or steam it in a small amount, whatever. Eat it like that. But this, you want to mix it with the beans, so you have to steam this first. And then put it back in the pot. After you steam it, you put it with the beans and cook it. Back in the pot or in a frying pan? Wherever it fits. <laughs> Usually people put certain food in a certain pot or a certain vessel to cook it, Ma. Not matter wherever, wherever it fits. fits. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, Take every little bit of this. Yes, my mother's saving every little piece of lettuce because it's very precious, like I said. Um, especially when they wanted to sell me green lettuce instead. Okay, Ma, I'm going to help you with that because it's too heavy. So we'll come back. Heavy. I just put a little bit of water to steam it. But I'll put it on the pot. You don't need to go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So how long do we steam it for? I don't know. I look. So we'll come back and let you know how long three heads of escarole. Um, steamed. In the meantime, my mother's going to have me open the cans of beans um, so that we can prepare uh, the next step. Okay, we're back and I'm laughing mm -hmm. because, I don't know, I think my brain just doesn't work anymore. I, my, <laughs> you make my brains go out. I know. The escarole is cooked, so I moved the pot from the stove over here and I told my mother that I would go ahead. So this is how the, the texture. So they're wilted down. So I told it's my not mother. Cooked, it's just wilted down. Yeah, right. It's not. It's wilted down. So they're tender. So if you touch them, they feel tender. So I told my mother that not to worry. That I would help with the tweezers and move them over into the colander to drain out all the water. Um, I don't know what's sitting in my head, mom, because they're tongs. I don't know why I call them tweezers. So hurry up, take it out. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is grab the tongs, not the tweezers, and put this in here. So once the whole pot, I'm going to turn off the camera while I do this. Once the whole pot is in here and all the way the water is drained out, we'll come back because then we're going to empty out the water that's left in the pot and add in the um, cannellini beans. So we'll be right back. That's right? No. Go ahead. That's right. Am I right? Go ahead. Do it. So I thought my mother was going, she took a cup to make a cup of coffee, but instead she's actually drinking the juice um, from the cooked escarole that was left in the pot. So what is that, Mom? What kind of medicinal purposes is I'm the juice? I don't know. But you drink it. Mm -hmm. So why? It's supposed to be good for you. I don't know. Well, it's like cooked vegetable juice, so that's probably why. There was no water in here, really. It's all the water from the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so that's what my mother's having also. So for those of you who want to be even more authentic and don't know why you're going to drink the juice, but you could drink the hot um, cooked vegetable juice. I'm going to look up to see what that means. It's probably some old wives' tale that Noni taught you and you picked up and continued and continued. Okay, so the pot is dried. Well, my mom's drying it with paper towel. So out comes the vegetable and she's putting it back. She didn't wash it because we're cooking the same thing in it, but she took out some remnants of the vegetable that I left. She's putting it back on heat. Then she's going to, this is like a guessing game. Are you gonna put the olive oil in first? Okay. So she's gonna put the olive oil in first, which means that She's going to add the seasoning, probably the garlic, the beans, the garlic, the pepper, the salt, um, and then the beans and then the red pepper flakes. Do you need a second bottle, Mom, of olive oil? You want me to open? So in this house, as you see, we use olive oil quite a bit. Um, so we've gone through one bottle. We went to one bottle. Are you crazy? Is it empty? No, it was a little bit over here. Oh. <laughs> Didn't you use it? 
Alice, the bottle was not full. You just had a little bit. We did not go through one bottle. Okay. We did, just not in a week. <laughs> Are you opening the other bottle? Yeah. I help this you. This is little, huh? Yeah, this is a smaller one. I'll, I'll help you. Why? Because it's hard. Okay. I'm, see, I'm trying to help you. Mm -hmm. The other day you said I don't help. Yeah, see, Ma, it's, it's hard. It's hard on the twist. No, it doesn't come up. Yeah, because it's not breaking the, the tie. Let it me come break. back. Are you sure? Yeah, it broke. It just doesn't come out. No, see, it didn't. See, it you did. broke it from the bottom, not the top. Yeah, you took off the whole thing. Here, Why let me. you put all this here? Because we need to have everything. About, uh, uh, it's for the show. This is a show. I, I don't use it there. I use it here. <laughs> I didn't know where we were doing it. Uh, I could have brought it over to you. Okay. So the olive oil is in there now. Hopefully we don't go through this entire second bottle as fast as that first bottle. Let me get the bigger one. Yeah, he didn't have the bigger one last week. Oh, I opened it again. Sorry. You opened it? I closed it for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, so my mother put in, I think she put in garlic maybe? No, hot pepper. Oh, now she's putting in hot pepper. But you put garlic in before, right? Mm -hmm. And then... And then you make me forget stuff. The cans of beans. Okay. So the two cans of beans with their juices, because it's going to give that thick tastiness to this vegetable. Do you want me to add a little bit of water and rinse out the rest of the beans? Okay. How much? Like a quarter? That's not even a quarter. Just a little bit. And we'll share with both cans. And then that goes in the pot. And then I'll throw the cans away. Hmm? I'll throw the cans away with the lids. So nobody gets hurt. So my mother grew up during World War II, so she saves every little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, my mom grew up in Italy during World War II. She was a little, little girl that you may have seen in the picture that I attached to I one of my... Little, little one you I were had. little. You were tiny. You were little. Really? Mm-hmm. So my mother grew up 85 years ago there in Italy, and she came here when she was 15 on the boat by herself, which actually I'm going to post the picture of you, mom, in those super duper shorts, the super duper, um, not. I'm going to, the super duper um, short shorts with the tight sweater on when you attracted all those guys when you drove your 57... Would you drive? Whatever car, and you used to race with the guys. So I'm going to post that on Facebook, a picture of you with those shorts. Okay, so what's next? Do you know what I put in there? The beans. What else did I put in there? Garlic, heart pepper, and olive oil. I didn't put any salt? No. Um, something else that they could make, Mom is just beans with bread. So if you don't have escarole or not interested in escarole, something else that my mother used to make. So she used to go gallivanting around town with her friend Martha Lamola every day. They would go out to lunch, they'd go shopping. Um, and so when my mother would come home, my poor father who worked all day, poor thing, he worked all day. Mm -hmm. He left the house at four in the morning, worked all day. When he'd come home, the only thing he wanted was a piece of bread and a dish of pasta or something to eat. And the mother wasn't there to give it to him. Exactly. Uh -huh. So my mother, sometimes if she was out and didn't make dinner, would make pa uh, beans with bread. So Did your mother ever work? We're not talking about that in this episode. We're talking about you going out gallivanting. So let's stay with the beans and the bread. So my mother would make these beans that are cooked and spicy, and I'm gonna take a picture of them in the pot because they came out really nice, with crusty pieces of day-old bread in the bottom of a bowl or plate, and you just pour these beans on top of it and they absorb it, or you can cook it all in the frying pan itself. Um, and it was delicious. 
just spicy enough from the red pepper. But why are you looking away? Wasn't it good? I don't know. You served it to us. <laughs> I was raised with it, so it was good to me. See, so. exactly. So if you don't have something to make at home and you want to try something different, you have a couple cans of beans, um, you could do that. Or like Bob doesn't like escarole, so I don't know what he's going to eat for dinner tonight. Um, so let's look inside. So it looks really good. So it's the beans that they're cooking in just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of water, and the juices or whatever pasty stuff that comes from their can. And then just imagine that on um, crispy yeah, they, bread. Did we put that stuff in? We put the stuff in, the seasoning in. You did. So I can put it away. Okay, I'll put it away. Um, oh, I need to call Bob to fix that squeak to spray WD-40. Um, so something simple, something delicious. It's almost, well, it's not the same, but you know how people eat hummus? Like chechi beans, hummus, like beans with bread. But this is different because it has like a sauce to it. And it's just like very, very rustic and just delicious. I like poor people food. But now, you know what? One day we're going to see that on a menu someplace, small, Like you see polenta on a menu. Um, we should make polenta next week. When I made it um, for after Christmas, everybody liked it. Did you? Wasn't it good? Huh? Wasn't it good? Yeah, go ahead, eat it again. You can I'm gonna it make again. it. I'm gonna make it. Did you make what it. I, said? I can eat it again. I mean, you're not gonna eat it. Why? Why you want me to? Eat it was mine? good. Uh huh. It was good. I put spicy sausage in it. Were you doing a war in Italy? No, I know that's why it reminds you of that. No, I mean, you you were not there, right? No. So after you were hungry for maybe two weeks or three weeks that you had no food. Hmm? You remember what was your first meal? Meal? A dish of hot pipey polenta. But I make it fancy, Mom. Underneath a cave. I know, I know. But this is and to be celebrated. Put, it, put, it, put in a big thing over there, down there, and you threw, put hot water, and then you threw the cornmeal in there. So no it's like cream of wheat. No, yeah, no salt or nothing. Mm. And there was the first meal we had. Okay. So how exciting is polenta for me? Can you tell me? But if I make it like a lasagna uh -huh. with sausage mm -hmm. and bake it in the oven with sauce. You can still eat it. Oh my God. Well, I liked it. Go ahead. It's still polenta to me. Okay. You know, it's very expensive in uh -huh. restaurants. <laughs> That's so. because they were not doing the war there. That's why. Okay. So what are we doing next? You're just leaving the pot there by itself. Yeah. So it's unattended. It? What? We'll look as if it's boiling. So what's the next step? We wait till it's boiling? After we have to simmer it a little bit. Then you throw your beans in there. The beans are in there. No, they're not in there. Yeah, we put the beans in. You put the two cans of beans in. You put the scuttle in there. Oh, the then. scuttle in there then. Yeah. The beans are in there. The beans are boiling. Okay, so let's see. It's boiling. So it may be ready soon. You know, it smells delicious. That smell of the beans cooking with the hot pepper. I want to put like a loaf of bread inside there. Yeah. That's Start delicious. With, with the tongs? Yeah. So I'm stirring them with the tongs, people, which I called tweezers earlier. Yeah, I think they're going to be ready soon, Mom. So once these are confirmed ready, we're going to put in the escarole. And I'll come back and show you how that looks okay. combined. So I checked that the beans were boiling and I added in the escarole, which wilted down. So those big giant three heads turned into just a little bit. Um, so it's one of those vegetables that if you expect to have a lot left, there's not that much. But this is a nice size amount. It'll be enough for us for dinner and to share. Um, so my mom said, is it boiling now? It's boiling the sides and the middle. It's boiling. Stir it. So stir it. And then. So I'm going to lower the heat after. I do this probably better with two hands. I'm going to stir it all up, lower the heat, and then cover it. And then what? You let it simmer. For how long? I don't know. Like 10 minutes to look at it. Just so you have liquid in there. Yeah, there's liquid in there. Okay, we'll be back.
I turned off the shkodol with beans. And my mother's gonna check to see that I did a good job. Of course, I did nothing to do with this. I was just the pot stirrer. So she wants to make sure that the vegetable is not too tough, that it's cooked, and that the beans are nice and soft. Um, and then there's a good taste inside there. What are these containers? The container, so we can share. Share who? We share the escarole and beans, the shkarol with beans. So my, I have a sister, Lena, who's a vegan, so she doesn't eat this. Not because there's an animal in here, but I think it's olive oil, just any oil. She doesn't need oil either. So she gets none. So we have a container to take to give to Albert and Kim. So we'll give him some. Mm -hmm. And then there's some for you. We'll put in a plate here. Mm -hmm. This one. For me. So fit in there? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And then when you take it, when everybody takes it home, they'll heat it up and then they'll put their crusty bread on the bottom and then they'll um, pour this on top and eat it and it'll be absolutely delicious. So because we have all this escarole now, we're gonna have vegan escarole cook on Friday. You're gonna make. Why? For Lena. And then we'll make a stuffed pizza with escarole. So everybody could see how you used to make the pizza rustica and the uh, shkarol pizza. So now we'll make the escarole pizza also. I don't think so. Well, yes, mom. We have to use it. No. Yeah, see, look look how nice it looks. A nice dish of escarole with beans. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Everybody, enjoy your dinner tonight.